Okie dokie. In this problem, they give us a model for species X, and they tell us that X represents the population of the species. And they give us this initial condition that when T equals 0, X equals 0.5. Then they say if A equals this and B equals this, what can be said about the population in the long run? So truly, these are very similar, or this problem is very similar to this one and to these ones we saw. It's basically finding some information first about the equilibrium solutions, the initial condition, and what the slope of the solution is at the initial condition. So three parts here. We first want to find out when or for which x values does x prime equal zero because if we can find these x values, these will be our equilibrium solutions. So what do we do? We plug in what we know in terms of a and b, but our goal is to solve for x. So we will not plug in 0.5 for x yet. So the first step is we're plugging in a which is 0.4 and b which is 0 0.06 into a and b respectively and then what we'll do is set x prime equal to zero and our goal is to solve this for x so let's distribute and work around with this a little bit so we're distributing 0.4x to 1 minus x, so we get 0.4x minus 0.4x squared minus 0 0.06 equals 0. If we rearrange this, what we have is this quadratic expression, a quadratic equation for which we can use the quadratic formula to solve for x. The quadratic formula is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a. We can use this again because we see an x squared term, an x term, and a constant. And so in this case, our a is the coefficient of the x squared term, so negative 0.4. Our b is the coefficient in front of the x term, so 0.4, and c is the constant, so negative 0 0.06. We will plug in these values. So we have negative b, so negative 0 0.4, plus or minus the square root of 0 0.04 squared, minus 4 times negative 0.4 times negative 0 0.06 all divided by 2 times a which is negative 0.4 let's open up Desmos let's see what we can do in one felled swoop in terms of a square root let's plug in the entire square root bit and see what we can find 0.4 square minus 4 times a which was negative 0.4 I think and then times negative 0.06, which was our C value. All right, I think everything is looking good. So unfortunately, it's just a you know an ugly fraction, so or an ugly decimal really. So I'll just call it 0.253. So what we have now is that x is equal to negative 0.4 plus or minus. Keep in mind we already took the square root of everything, so we just have. 0.253 and then that's all divided by 2 times negative 0.4 so negative 0.8 if you're unfamiliar with the plus or minus what this tells us basically is that we will have one x value or one equilibrium solution that is negative 0.4 plus the 253 divided by the negative 0.8, and we'll have a second x value or second equilibrium solution that has negative 0.4 minus the 0.253 all divided by negative 0.8. So that's how we 
break up the plus or minus, it's telling us we have two distinct solutions. So let's plug these in. Negative 0.4 plus 0.253, and then this is all divided by negative 0.8, and we get this, and I'll go ahead and type in the other one, negative 0.4 minus 0.253, all divided by negative 0.8. So we have 0.184. So x1 equals 0 0.184 for the first one. x2 is 0.816. Yeah, let's keep it to that. 0.816 for the second one. Again, these are our two equilibrium solutions. So let's sketch a little graph. So 0.184 and 0.816. Then we know our initial condition that when t equals 0 is our x value is 0.5. So if we plot a 0.5 in here somewhere, we know, based on what we know about equilibrium solutions, that the function, the solution, should be bounded between these two, but it might go up and approach 0.82, or it could go down and approach 0.18. So the question is, does it level off near 18%, which is the 0.18, or does it level off near 82%, which is the 0.82, or how I've written it, 0.816 and 0.184. So, this is where we need to find the actual slope value or the x prime value at this initial condition. So now instead of just plugging in a and b like we did at the very start, we will now plug in the 0.5. And really we could probably plug in any x value that's in between those two. So um, let's give it a shot. Let's do, let's just do the 0.5. So we're going to plug in 0.4 for A. Let's see if I can do it right here. I'm just having trouble finding space. Uh, so 0.4 times X. So 0.5. And then all minus 0 0.06. So again, this is calculating the X prime value, or specifically the slope at this initial condition. So does it go up? Or does it go down? So let's open up Desmos just to calculate this real quick. 0.4 times 0.5 times 1 minus 0.5, which is just 0.5. And then we have minus 0 0.06. And we have, it is positive, and it's just barely positive, but it is still positive. It is a point. Zero, 4. Again, this is the slope at x equals 0 0.5 and when t equals 0. So positive slope at this initial condition. So we're going up from here, which means it'll eventually take this path and level out at 0.816, which is 82%. So in the long run, it levels out at 82% of its carrying capacity. So first step, find the equilibrium solutions by plugging in A and B, setting it equal to zero, and using the quadratic formula to solve for two x values, your two equilibrium solutions, graph them, plot your initial condition point like we did here, and then plug in A, B, and your initial condition x value, in this case, it was 0.5, and then that'll tell you the slope value, whether it's positive or negative, and then that'll lead you into the direction to tell you whether it levels off up here or down here at that equilibrium solution. I'll do two more examples in a separate video. Feel free to check those out.